Al Pacino confirms there's nothing there after we die. You're gone. Oh, thanks, Al. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think when he dies, he's going to just go, ooh, uh. <laughs> no. The, and that'll be the end? Because once you die, there's nothing there. No, as, this, he as he his, dies. His, his, his dying as, breath. His dying breath will be a hoo uh, Don't you think? hoo uh. Yeah, totally. Okay. Nailed it. Hoorah! Welcome to the I Know Bado Podcast. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the I Know Bado Podcast. Come and at ya. From the Slice on Oak Studios, I'm Mayor David O. The city of Brandon, with me as always, is my brother. You put on a drag show, didn't you? <laughs> Keep that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a winner. Uh, right, Gabriel Johnson, I see you as well. Dave, if you show me a 10-foot wall, yes. I'm going to create a 12-foot ladder. <laughs> Nobody has any idea what you're talking about. Hey, it's I new- don't even have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it's Newsweek, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for this? Don't tell Scotty. He does the news. Uh, in local news, uh, yesterday was my brother, the mayor's birthday. Oh, no. And I forgot to wish him a happy <laughs> birthday. You know what's funny is I didn't recognize that you did. I did notice that our older brother didn't. No. Oh, you didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> so Rick held to a higher standard. <laughs> well... I see Scott. I knew I was going to see Scott. Uh, well, uh, yeah. So birthday? I would just like to formally take this opportunity to wish a happy birthday no. to my favorite brother-in-law, Tim Severson. Oh, oh, his birthday is today. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember that. What a fuck. What a fuck. <laughs> happy birthday, Tim. Love you. <laughs> happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> I already told you happy birthday, Tim, so please too. That's too much. <laughs> All right, now that we've talked about things that no one cares about. Uh, people are getting salmon sperm injected into their faces. You don't want a fish sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's a new procedure. Kim Kardashian and Jennifer Aniston are the pioneers, I suppose. Mm. You would say. Well, is it like better than Botox? I don't think anybody really knows yet. <laughs> We're going to play this one out. Oh, oh, no. Uh, I mean, Kim Kardashian's got a lot of experience with sperm, so she'd be the one to start with. Yeah, but injected into the face. At first, I was thinking eggs, and Mm -hmm. I could see how that would give you volume. But sperm... It's very tiny. Very tiny. You would need a lot of it. A lot of little rotting corpses up in your cheeks. (laughs) Seems like a bad idea. Mm -hmm. That would smell. And, it, and we're talking like, is it just the sperm or are we going straight semen? I'm, I'm pretty sure. It, well, I guess that's a <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference between the sperm and the yeah, fluid. Yeah, there's fluid. Yeah. 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 Okay. Are you injecting the semen? Because the semen go bad. That's like milk. You don't want that in your cheek. <laughs> I think the sperm at least would maybe, <laughs> you know, the little, flop I don't around know. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This little, is the first news story you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right into it. Just right at, Hey, welcome to the I Know But podcast. It's Newsweek again. <laughs> Haven't done it for a while. And holy <laughs> sh- <laughs> Wow. What's funny is like, you, get, you, you catch on to that. I'm fully invested. This is a story where I need to, we need to get to the bottom of the semen injections. <laughs> is that a hair gel? Where do they inject it? In the face? Let's see. Like lips and stuff? I no, don't. not lips. No. No. <laughs> no, I draw the line. Draw the line at the lips. What are the cheeks? Is that their new Brazilian butt? Your, your mouth smells like a cock. Yeah. <laughs> a eh. fish cock. <laughs> yeah, fish cock, too. That's the part we were kind of forgetting fish about that as well. Yeah, that's a good band name. It, it is funny, because you were you were thinking eggs as well. And I and when you first said I was thinking that as well, because you ever seen, like, cause sometimes they'll, like, squeeze the fish and the eggs come out. Sure. You mm-hmm. know, and they're all freaking bright-ass red. Mm-hmm. Um, I, that's what I was thinking as well. But they provide volume. I could see that working. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, Orbeez. A little Orbeez <laughs> in there. Yeah, a little yeah. Orbeez in your yeah. cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How big are freaking this is salmon sperm? It's a great question. I have no idea. Hmm. All I know is that these two ladies are going to get injected into their face. <laughs> just the two. It's science. <laughs> what are we doing? 
What are we doing? And we're injecting fish semen into our try that on people, ugly people. Start with the ugly people. (laughs) See if it helps them first. Yeah. These world re- world some- renowned beauties. <laughs> yeah, let's try on some homeless people first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See if it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to work your way up to the- this. Is one of those that you don't start at the top. You start at the bottom, and if all these people start getting really hot, well then yeah, you want it's like steroids. The guy at the top shouldn't be taking the yeah, steroids. Yeah, Barry Bonds wasn't the first one to take. Steroids. No, when the no. other guys are catching up, that's when mm. you got to take yeah. the freaking semen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, we're going to find out in a couple of years how that worked out for him. Uh, Dr. Lauren Taglia says, quote, I think there are more studies needed. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, wow. A doctor even <laughs> says it. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a couple going on right now. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it can't be much worse than what happens with plastic surgery to begin with. Like plastic surgery it ain't going well for you ladies. Right. By the time you're like Madonna's age, it, yep. you just don't look human. Yeah. Meg Ryan is rough. And for the the males as well, you go get yourself a uh, what's his name the the gambler. What's his the, name? The gambler. The gambler. Kenny like, Rogers. Kenny Rogers. I was say Kenny. <laughs> no when, go get yourself a Kenny Rogers and tell me that that worked out great. Mm-hmm. No when the fold up. I don't uh, the totness. I don't think people are looking for tot. You don't get it. Right. I don't. And just no wrinkles. No wrinkles. No wrinkles by any means necessary. No wrinkles. <laughs> and his face lost all expression. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there anything else to finish? Which Are there any qualities to the salmon sperm that you couldn't get from like rat sperm? Probably. Well, I mean, just in terms of thinking about like consuming them. Yeah. Like you eat salmon. It's very good. Which for one would you yeah. rather consume? <clears throat> A salmon. Salmon sperm? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. oh, the sperm? <laughs> uh, Definitely not I, rat sperm. I, I prefer a good egg white omelet. People eat... <laughs> stop. People, <laughs> people eat salmon eggs. <laughs> people don't eat rat eggs. I mean, I hope not. Mm, all right. Maybe the mole people. All right, can we move on from this one? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, this might be another situation where we have to take the beginning and take it to the end. <laughs> Speaking well, of good rats... Good episode. See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, a taxidermist is turning rats into sexy showgirls with nipple covers and fake eyelashes. Tell me you'd rather eat salmon sperm now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Why? <laughs> that sounds like a fun day. Yeah. Well, people are buying those. You don't just make them for your... Some, somebody's buying those as well. And I, oh, yeah. Probably a pretty penny. Uh, yeah, a mother who transforms frozen rats into sexy showgirls with colored feathers, handmade nipple covers, and fake eyelashes has said her novelty taxidermy business regularly requires 12-hour days to keep up with demand. How long does it take to make one rat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, This seems like a speedy process. I mean, it's taxidermy, so. Yeah. Let's see. I have no idea how long taxidermy takes. Zero frame of reference. Mm -hmm. Is it days? Uh, when people t- think about taxidermy, this is her talking, I think they mostly picture deer and game animals. And just to simplify it, let's say that takes 100 steps, she said. The rats take 20 steps, and the process is less complicated. And because I'm doing one thing over and over again, I am really able to hone my abilities. Uh, An assembly line. Yeah. This, this is I think you would do that with deer, too. It's like, today yeah. I'm taking the skin off. Yeah. Today I'm doing the next step. I'm now re- realizing that I have no frame of reference for taxidermy whatsoever. I have almost no knowledge of what taxidermy actually entails, other than the removing of the innards and stuffing it. Like that's the mm-hmm. only the only thing I even understand. They don't stuff the carcass. They take the entire <gasps> skin off. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and build a whole new carcass. Well, oh. Well, that would that would still be stuffing it. You would With still materials be st- such as clay, foam, and wire. Yeah, you mm-hmm. would still be stretching it over, which is yeah. the same idea as stuffing. What do you but th- I what also do you have zero frame of reference, is? so I am just talking out of my ass <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, what do you think stuffing is? <clears throat> I don't think there's anything inside. I don't think you're stuffing. Oh, you just think it's a, a, a wire frame. Yeah. Okay. All right. I would say I would still consider that stuffing. You know, you're maybe not... It's not a teddy bear. I get that, mm-hmm. you know. And even like with the fish and stuff, that they just repaint the yeah. thing. Like basically, you you send them a fish, and they're like, uh, "This one looks like what you sent me." It's not you don't get the yeah. fish back. No, it, be, some fish taxidermists. I do know this. Do it just 
out of like plaster. Yeah. They just look at the picture, yes. make a plaster of yeah. the same size and paint it to look similar. Yeah. And you ain't getting the fish back. No. No. A lot of the time. I'm not saying that there isn't someone out there that isn't a world famous taxidermist that has got the best f- salmon semen mm. <laughs> that you put on your wall. I don't know. Come maybe. on, Dave. I missed lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, you are alert today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the drying process typically takes two to three weeks. Okay, there we go. Um, the whole process takes about a month from start to finish. Okay, right. see, I would have had no idea that that's how long it takes. I would have thought about like a week. I, I actually work with the taxidermist, and he, one of his things is he promises a six-month turnaround on a deer. Okay. But he takes in, I don't know how many he takes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how Fast he does them, but it's, it's everything he takes in six months turnaround. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, she just watched videos online and made the first taxidermy Ugh. together with uh, her daughter and her sister. Oh, a family affair. They had such a fun time, so they did it again and made others. And the natural next step was let's make it sexy and fun and add costumes. Yeah, naturally. Wait, they were just doing regular rats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were. Yeah, so were, wait, let's add some nipple tassels. You know, this. these are rats. However, it could be fancy rats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, is a fan. They're cute. Yeah, <laughs> they're fancy. I might get one. Oh yeah. Oh man, I bet she makes a fucking killing. I'm. I bet <laughs> the same people that put salmon. salmon I, didn't, I didn't even think about it. Rats have six nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same people that are doing salmon semen are probably into that as well. Um, yeah, I think I don't know if I'm okay with people just being. Uh, hobbyist taxidermist. The idea, like, I get it. Everything is on YouTube. You can figure mm-hmm. out anything. I don't know how I feel about the fact that there are just people in their homes, like, clicking spacebar to watch their <laughs> video on how to cut up a rat and then cutting up a rat. I don't know how I feel about that. That's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking weird. That's fucking like, weird. When, when was the decision made? Like, yeah. hey, we have all these rats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not like, oh, I'm in school and I figured I found that rats were kind of convenient. It's like, where? how do you get to that point where now you have a, a rat carcass and a fucking a, a YouTube video? A frozen rat carcass. Yeah, yeah she, she buys them frozen from an ethical local breeder who Always. supplies. Ethical local Always. breeder. Oh, ethical local breeder. <laughs> Breeder, breeder who kills and freezes them. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, supplies food for zoos yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. she keeps them in a large freezer. Interesting. So do you have to thaw them? Do you think? I'd think not. Yeah. Right? Well, I don't know. You could probably skin a rat without thawing it. Yeah, it'd be frozen together. Well, I don't know. I it do. Would, it would tear. Yeah. You do know, you do, you do know. I have no frame of reference again. Have you ever tried to f- with frozen stuff? I haven't tried to f- anything that's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you buy like pre patty hamburgers and they're yeah. frozen together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's well, a pain in the ass. Yeah, let it thaw a little bit. Okay. Well, there you Same go. There's the your answer. <laughs> all right, all right. Does it get that like thing that popsicles get where the outside frosts a little bit and just get a little frost on the outside uh-huh. of the rat? Ugh. Yeah, rats, man. It's rats. I, and I, I will admit, end product, not too bad, except for it's a fucking real rat. That's the problem. Like that, if, if that was a cute little stuffed animal that's on the shelf at the store, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's kind of a cool it's idea. It's quite literally a cute little stuffed animal. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Well, not stuffed. Wire frame and clay. All right, get off this. Uh, all right. Next. <clears throat> a high school football coach was arrested after he allegedly called the police to report a prostitute had stolen money from him. Well, did he come or what? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't in the game plan. <clears throat> <clears throat> did you see uh, there was an Onion article like, weeks ago um, that was uh, Tim Waltz is just trapped in football analogies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just couldn't get out of them. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> it's either the fourth and 20. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, SNL's Tim Walls isn't too bad. Getting Gaffigan in there that to do it. That was pretty good. It's not too bad. I, that's the only thing I saw from it. I didn't watch anything else other. No. I haven't seen it in years. Wouldn't know. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah they brought back Dana Carvey to be yeah. Biden, and I hear it's good, but. Yeah. I, we, just from this podcast, a lot of Dana Carvey hate out there. 
Yeah. A lot of Dana Carvey hate. Love Dana Carvey. The newer generation, not Dana Carvey fans. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, They've not seen the church lady? I don't know. I was a big, huge, huge Dana Carvey guy. I like Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey show, we've talked about it. I'm a fan of, uh, celebrate the whole catalog minus uh, the the man of mystery thing that he did. Master of disguises, (laughs) except for the turtle part. Turtle, turtle, that's funny. But yeah, a lot of Dana Carvey hate. Must be Satan. Must be. Mm -hmm. So the football coach goes to get a Mm blowjob, then doesn't get a blowjob. I you know it doesn't she confirm gets the 20 bucks. whether or not yeah it was performed but uh, she took off with a hundred dollars. Well, hold on now. If she took off with a hundred dollars and it was performed, that's called the transaction. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, call, well, you call the police. Call well, the on on, unless you were told it was only going to be twenty five dollars. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, and he you're said, "Do you got cha- change? change for this?" <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask for change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just go my coin belt. <laughs> that would be that would really state. Yeah, that would really change the story quite a bit. I want a teacher's salary. She here, said lady. it was fifty. I gave her a hundred. I got nothing back. She owes me fifty dollars <laughs> or another blowjob. <laughs> I'm more mad that I'm not getting another blowjob. Oh, I paid man. for two. Damn yeah. it. That's crazy. I suppose he's not a coach anymore. Uh, is immediately placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. Yeah. So is that he, a cr- he was arrested on suspicion of solicitation, <laughs> soliciting prostitution? I was just going to ask. Like, okay, so what's the crime? Because you, I don't think you could actually book him for solicitation. So now it's suspicion. Suspicion. I, I, that's of not soliciting. a crime. That's not a crime. No, they would have to charge him with soliciting to yes. charge him with something, and they could potentially use his own you know, confession to mm-hmm. them in in a matter of it. But there's no... Yeah, I guess it depends on what he said. Are they going to bring in the prostitute and, like, collaborate? Because otherwise... <laughs> yeah. Your stories don't match up. Yeah. <laughs> you said you gave two blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was a $20 bill. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's one of those where you tell the guy he's a knucklehead and, you know, get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it could be another instance where... Of CTE. Probably. <laughs> But it could be an instance where the police department knows that if he's charged with something, then most likely he will be removed from being the coach. Whereas, right then, it's just a headline in the newspaper, yeah, and he's gone, and he's gone. Which could be, you know, that that happens a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, suspicion of soliciting—that's mm-hmm. not a fucking thing. <laughs> that's not a thing. Not saying he should be get, having prostitutes. Definitely should be paying them. Yeah, so but good, should be getting his change. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, yeah, good on him for that. At least, you know. Well, he's a man of justice. Yeah, and if she took the man, money and ran, good on her. I that's good for you. No, that's called stealing. Well, so prostitution <laughs> is also illegal. So I'll take the lesser of the two. How fast? I, is, how fast is his forty times? This is he true. should be able to outrun a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. She could have also been like, "Get out the stopwatch. Let's see what happens." <laughs> Look, we've all seen some pretty overweight football coaches. We've seen some overweight prostitutes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why this one wasn't worth a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh man, this episode is not going well. <laughs> We Vote s- for Mike O'Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> semen, the, the, w- welcome back to the news. Semen, pretty rats, and fat prostitute 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Although there's lots of options for the name of this episode so far. Sam and semen's pretty high. Like, I, like, I like alliteration. You are all weirdos. All right, should we go a little lighter? Yeah, please. No, I wish you would have no, started lighter. No, keep going down. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have started lighter. All right. Uh, this one's actually from a year ago, but uh, Subway announced that nearly 10,000 people said they would legally change their names to Subway to receive free sandwiches for life. I remember seeing that because mm-hmm. it was a community episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but they didn't. One winner was selected. Okay. All right. Uh, and it actually comes out to like $51,000 worth of Subway or That's something. That's not bad. I'll take $51,000 worth of Subway. Yeah. Uh, you just have to change your name to Subway. Uh, right. I'll, I'll just go by my middle name, Gabe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, ta- I'll take $50,000 50, $50, of $5 footlongs. Now that you jack the price, we're out. 
Not a huge Subway guy. You are. You like you. Well, you were a former sandwich artist. I'm a sandwich artist. Once, yeah. not always. Yeah. Yeah. That was my that was my first job. Yeah. yeah. I, I like Subway. I eat Subway sometimes. Uh, during COVID, they got rid of the seafood mix. Okay, smart idea. So, <laughs> you Subway. Okay. I, I don't really eat there anymore. The tuna. They have tuna. They had tuna and seafood, like fake crab. Oh, they have oh, fake crab. Okay. okay, I was gonna say because okay. I think I remember hearing from like Subway workers that. Everybody there was like, don't <laughs> eat the tuna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all fresh and good, I promise. They say so. Um, <laughs> were you there during the triangle cut? I, I, I had to do the triangle cut. You were the triangle cut. Yeah. I, bizarre. Didn't like it. Didn't well, understand I, it. And if you go too narrow, you have like a whole loaf of bread with just all this <laughs> sitting on top of it. Sandwiches have been cut the same way forever. Yeah, Probably since bread was invented, yeah. right? The first knife that hit bread... Did not go in a triangle. It didn't create a V. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking, Subway. And it didn't last that long. And there's some people that swear by it. I never got it because it was so inconsistent. There, I got a, there I got a, is less droppage, spillage, mess. Sure. Right? Sure. Because you have, it's all sitting on top of the loaf of bread. As long as you keep the loaf of bread upright. That's not a good sandwich. That's not a sandwich. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, holding your sandwich, you're holding your sandwich out in front of you with two palms. It's not how you eat a sandwich. No, you just grab it with one hand. Too, Do you? I don't, no, I don't think so. Not with that method. All right. Next. Woman rescued from outhouse toilets after climbing in to reti- retrieve Apple Watch. Too many times. Too many times. <laughs> this should be one story that has ever happened once. And then after that, never again. One person made the mistake. That was it. Did she die of dysentery? <laughs> no, she was rescued. Oh. Are you, are you upset about that? <laughs> no. Are you mad? No, I'm doing... <laughs> the look on his face was like, like, why did you rescue that? <laughs> I'm doing the math. Leave her in there. I'm doing the math, right? So you went in to retrieve it, okay? Uh-huh. So it's down there. Yeah, I mean, think of it like a campground. Like yeah, yeah, old, yeah. Like, not old, oh, but just a campground oh, outhouse. Oh. It was like a 10-foot drop. Oh! It ain't that important. What is on your Apple, Apple Watch that you're concerned about? N- nothing. It's stored in the f- <laughs> cloud. You can go back to the store and get another one for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. What are you? What are you doing now? Yeah. This isn't the seventeen hundred dollar phone. This is the watch. Yeah. That you probably don't even really use. I don't know what is happening. That's a terrible decision. Bad. Bad choice. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. And do you think it was one of those where she like? But do you think she was like reaching and fell, or like lowered herself in? The woman whose name was not released lowered herself inside the <laughs> toilet after dropping the watch. How do you lower yourself into a shirt? Well, this looks. This oh, this doesn't look. Same too way you high. lower yourself into anything. Yeah. I suppose. this doesn't look too high. Just it's so, just a lot deeper. So she was at the campground and she had like rope and a harness and a mm, and mm. a pulley system. Oh, and, oh, I no. am suspecting that. Just like getting into yeah. a tub, yeah. But oh. the, but now she's hanging. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking <laughs> like Mission hands. Impossible lowering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, would have made it a lot more fun. Uh, yeah, yeah was, no, there's at, nothing fun about that. <laughs> Not for her, for everyone else involved. It's like, oh, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> um, yeah. Do you think she got like? You know, to the point where you're, you, uh, you know, she's up on her arms uh-huh. like oh, a pummel horse. Just gave out. Well, then she's she gets to the point where she's got to do kind of the crossover and then yeah, realize, oh, yeah, a hundred percent. And then <laughs> that's <fell>. exactly what <laughs> I'm yep, thinking. Yep, that's exactly what I think too. I, I think she uh, hung on for dear life yes. for a solid eight seconds. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> realizing no. this is I'm happening. Either, I, I cannot get out yep. even from here. I can't do a pull up. No, <laughs> no, she one hundred percent. Hit she probably slip. did the transition oh, though. Oh, no. Attempt the pull up. Oh, she hit and slip. There's no way she did. There, she either did a <laughs> uh, superhero knee, <laughs> or she hit and slip. <laughs> Face plan. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, she was out like this. And did oh the, yeah, the, yeah. Toe, the yeah. toe swing. Yeah. Oh. Yep, toes go up behind you. Face first. It's always an Apple Watch. It's always an <laughs> Apple Watch. Apple should have a program in which. Did you drop it in the outhouse? We'll just give you a free one. We'll just give you a free. We'll ping it. Make sure it's still in there. Yeah. And we'll just give you a free one. Yeah. Stop it, people. What are we doing? Yeah. And what do you do? So you start screaming help. Mm-hmm. The door's locked. So then you got yeah. Bunch you of, locked yourself in. So then you got <laughs> <and> fell <laughs> into the. So then you got a bunch of people outside going. I don't know, do we break the door down? Yeah. She's yelling help. 
And there's only a couple things that can happen inside an outhouse that you need help with. <laughs> Such as? Well, Let's I'm get a list. The second. I'm, yeah. I'm either, Let's I'm get either, a list here. I'm either A, going to find someone in the toilet, or B, I'm being tricked. <laughs> Neither of which are scenarios in which I want to burst into an outhouse. Yeah, it's probably somebody who's going to mug you and steal your Apple Watch. Yeah. 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 Help! <laughs> oh, good luck yeah. to her. Yep. State police said in a release, if you lose an item in an outhouse toilet, yep. do not attempt to venture inside the containment area. Mm. Containment. That's like <laughs> sci-fi <laughs> shit. Yeah. It sounds like <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> like a containment bin. It's poop. Don't <laughs> venture don't, into the poop. Don't climb into <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gross. All right, people. All right, next. Okay. I have so many stories on here and so many different tabs and tab clusters. Well, they're all very uh, inappropriate and gross. So, Customs and Border Patrol intercepts 700 pounds of baloney. <laughs> How's that for gross? <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it like prime Italian baloney? Oh, no. It's Mexican oh, baloney. No. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I gotta save myself after that reaction. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I don't think you could have said a worse thing. Mexican baloney sounds awful. Was like North Korean baloney yeah, or something. Well, <laughs> Ukraine, yeah. Ukrainian baloney. I would rather get baloney from the rat lady's house <laughs> than smuggled Mexican baloney. <clears throat> Nothing against Mexico, but you got you got a lot better meat options. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Mox Taylor yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Carnitas. Goats. Carnitas. Yeah. Yeah. Lips and assholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, U.S. and Customs Border Protection officers seized more than 700 pounds of bologna at the Mexican border on Wednesday, along with nearly 300 boxes of prescription medication. And I think the medication's <laughs> the headline. <laughs> they intercepted drugs crossing the border. That's not a headline. That's yeah. that's that's an everyday occurrence. <laughs> What's the it's not every day you get seven hundred pounds of Mexican bologna yeah. that I didn't know existed. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Is it counterfeit bologna? Are they gonna start stamping it with you know, with another region? Because I ain't, I ain't buying Mexican. Is it bologna. from the bologna region? Oh, yeah, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. 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 I ain't buying Mexican bologna. <laughs> Uh, it is Mexican bologna is a prohibited product because it is made from pork and has the potential for introducing foreign animal diseases to the U.S. pork industry, Hold which sounds like bullshit to me. Yeah, you get pork bullshit. products from all over yeah. the world. Like yeah. It, yeah that's pepperoni, just, sausage, prosciutto. It's like half the and, stuff at my pizzeria. Yeah. And not to be rude, but like bologna is pretty <laughs> processed. Yeah. It's, it's a hot salt. Yeah. It's a hot dog. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Huh. Well, good on the American Pork Producers yeah. Association for well, they making get, that illegal. Listen, mm-hmm. they got a, a visceral reaction from me. So <laughs> they've yeah. done their job. They got Dave Train. <laughs> Mexican bologna. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, bologna in general is pretty nasty. But like, yeah. if you, but you, it tastes good. You could convince me, like, if there was like some, you know, fancy bologna. The gabagoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You could convince me, like, no, you just the mortadella. It seems like something where somebody would go, like, you just never had real bologna. Yeah, you know, you've had, I know you've had. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. The real bologna is illegal in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah have that right. Mexican bologna. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's what the the coach was trying to get was the Mexican bologna. <laughs> <laughs> there's your. There's your <laughs> <laughs> you don't get alliteration, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so separate or together. Are you stuffing the pills in the bologna? Uh, the, if the bologna is illegal, they were stuffing the bologna in the pills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, quick, let's hide this bologna in some fentanyl. <laughs> let's wrap it in fentanyl. It's a nice encrusted bologna. <clears throat> 700 pounds is a lot. That's so much. Yes. <laughs> Especially with bologna, right? It's a very mm-hmm. dense meat. Okay. Yeah, are we done with that one? Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Mexican Coke. <laughs> I see, no, that's a product I can get behind. That is good stuff. <laughs> Kicked from tour with fentanyl and asbestos. Wait, what? Are these three band names? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are. All right. All right. <laughs> 
In the wake of an alleged altercation involving their vocalist, Mexican Coke have been booted from their tour with asbestos in support of San Francisco band Fentanyl. Mm. Oh, they hold on. <laughs> they removed the Mexican Coke and replaced it with fentanyl? No, it's Fentanyl's the headliner. Okay. No, yeah. So Mexican Coke oh. was touring with asbestos, uh, supporting fentanyl. Opening mm. up for fentanyl, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. And now Mexican Coke is off the bill. Well, mm. see you later, Mexican Coke. That was the one thing out of that. <laughs> one thing out of the headline I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the asbestos out of here. While no specific reason was given, people have speculated that this is due to an alleged incident at the Salt Lake City date of their tour in which Mexican Coke's vocalist got into a fight with other individuals. As is, of course, the tradition. 1994 Honda Accord on Reddit claims... (laughs) 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 The vocalist for Mexican Coke was in Salt Lake City on their tour with asbestos and fentanyl, and the vocalist for Mexican Coke spent the entire show drinking in excess treating young concert goers poorly, cussed out the audience, and continued to egg on a group of drunk punks in the audience, and then refused to start performing until he had another beer in his hand. After a song and a half of drunken mumbling, people started throwing beer cans, and one of the drunk punks came up and started swinging on him on stage. Hmm. Multiple other people came to aid both sides, and it ended with the vocalist having his shirt torn off. So I don't go to punk concerts all that often, ever in my life, but I would imagine if I went to a show... Mm -hmm. Headlined by fentanyl, mm-hmm. supported by asbestos in Mexico. Mm-hmm. That's about what I'd expect to see. Yeah, I, it's not like he got up on stage and I was like, this isn't right. Yeah, why are you singing <laughs> Christian gospel music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's will, drunk and obnoxious yeah, and, and people will, are throwing punches at him. Will not perform without beer in hand? I would have thought that was just like a prerequisite to the actual it's concert. his contract. Yeah. <laughs> a commenter, my war 69420 added this. <laughs> We've devolved. How big of a fucking story is this? <laughs> We've devolved. You missed half the story. He was calling audience members oh, gay slurs. Okay, let's, yeah. Throwing beer cans into people's faces. He then broke an $80 piece of microphone equipment, and then on top of that, an proceeded... An $80 piece of microphone equipment? So a microphone? <laughs> yeah. A microphone. <clears throat> and then on top of that, proceeded to call someone the N-word. Oh. P- people who came up to kick his ass were the people running the venue. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a little bit of a twist. Not to me. It seems like if I went to the show by those three bands, I would hear some N words and gay slurs. Oh. But then the but then the, the people, people that put on it. the show were yeah. like, "We're gonna beat the shit out of this guy." <laughs> well, that's just an added surprise. Yeah. <laughs> that's just good fun. Yeah, this guy says, "What a show!" <laughs> <laughs> this is what I paid for. Yeah, good names, solid names. Yeah. It's not as fun. Asbestos isn't as fun, right? It's just not as fun. No, I went to see asbestos. That's not as it's fun. It's not as fun as fentanyl. Yeah, but I went to see fentanyl. It's kind of like Ooh, risky. Dead. It's edgy. Yeah. Asbestos is like, you should mm. get that removed. Yeah. He's probably called J.G. Wentworth. Yeah. <laughs> 877 cash now. <laughs> I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. P. Diddy promises to ban women from his home if he's released from jail. That was the best headline I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> in a very long time. No, it's okay, guys. Just, no, I won't just, the, just the fellas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the young boys. Yeah, let's <laughs> be hanging with the bros. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. All right, next. (laughs) (laughs) We're not going to go down that road today. Al Pacino confirms there's nothing there after we die. You're gone. Oh, thanks, Al. (laughs) Do you think when he dies, he's going to just go, (laughs) ooh. No. And that'll be the end? Because once you die, there's nothing there. No, as he dies. His his, his, his dying breath. His dying breath will be a hooah. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. Nailed it. Brother, you are going down. Next! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid fire to get out of here. Stolen Vienna sausages Ooh. lead to Georgia nursing home resident being stabbed in the chest. Ooh. Stolen Vienna yeah. sausages. Yep. Lead to nursing home resident mm-hmm. 
being stabbed in the chest. This is yeah. this is a crime caper. I think we got this is two partners in crime. It sounds like to me, and then one stabs the other one. Turned on him. Sounds Took like all the it. sausages sounds for like themselves. It. I mean, they ain't Mexican bologna, but no, it's Vienna sausages. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's positive. It's a big deal. <laughs> well, in yeah. the nursing home, yeah, in the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. regular life, not so much. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. An argument over who stole Vienna sausages at a coastal Georgia nursing home ended with one man being stabbed. Tyvee Island police say they were called to a nursing home last week where they found a man who had been stabbed in the chest. Mm -hmm. So far, we've learned nothing new. Nope, it's just repeating the headline. (laughs) (laughs) Investigators say one man accused another of stealing his can of Vienna sausages. Mm. During the argument, one man pulled out a knife and stabbed the other. It's unclear if the man who was stabbed was the one who lost the sausages or not. I can. Yeah. This is eight ounces. This has also changed my feeling on the the Vienna sausages. Canned Vienna sausages? No bueno. I don't want to open a can of sausage. Now, give me the Mexican bologna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you're in a nursing home, it's probably a delicacy that this man has been waiting for. He's been keeping it. What's something like his... Grandson brought him, knowing Grandpa loves this. Loves it. Used to, you, they used to consume it together. And that asshole Richard stole it from him. What a dick. What a dick. Yeah, <laughs> <totally. laughs> I thank you. So it's unclear who was stabbed. It, it's a shot. It should be pretty clear. <laughs> this is, yeah. this is shoddy oh, we know which so. one of them the was guy, stabbed. The bleeding yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one's bleeding. <laughs> We're in his apartment. But it's um, unclear if the man who was stabbed was the one who lost the sausages or not. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's the guy who stole the sausages. That, got that did the stabbing? That got stabbed. Mm. Because if it was the guy who had his sausages stolen, mm-hmm. he would have told the police, he stole my sausages and stabbed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the logic. <laughs> First of all, he's taking my sausages, and then he's fucking stabbing me. Man stabs man after stealing sausages. As is, of course, the tradition. Yeah, I just don't understand how you don't, how, you, how it's unclear. Well, what do you mean it's unclear? How is it unclear? You who know which st- one accused them. Yeah, who is accusing <laughs> the point of stealing? And who got stabbed? Well, we started off really strong with the article to begin with. Right. Like, here's the title. Here's four sentences that tell you what the title actually is as well. Uh And then, hey, by the way, I don't even know what really happened, but it sounds like something. (laughs) It's unclear, but somebody had a knife in their chest. (laughs) (laughs) And some sausages were missing. (laughs) And I'm sure you could uh, police report. Maybe yeah. check the hospital records. I guess yeah. Yeah. it Ask can't the be the person who was working. Yeah, yeah talk can't. to somebody at the nursing home. <laughs> talk to anyone. I heard. <laughs> I, I imagine it was the news of the nursing home. They all know what happened. <laughs> it's old. Did you just go knock on the door and the first old lady that opened the door? Did you say, I heard about some <laughs> stabbings and sausages? And you got the story from fucking Karen <laughs> down the hall? It's all yeah. unclear. Yeah, it's I have that. advanced dementia. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, it was probably just a reporter like visiting their grandma. Yeah, and the grandma was like, "Did you hear about what happened last yeah, week?" This is exactly what this story sounds like. Thanks, this grandma. Is exactly what this is. Exactly. What, she's like this. This is one hundred percent the scuttlebutt of the entire retirement home and. Whoever this is has no idea that this actually even happened. It was in a different way. It is, <laughs> it is just yeah. what his grandma said. <laughs> no confirmation, mm-hmm. no further uh, investigating. What an article. Well, I, not to be a dick, but the last one had fucking Dodge Corolla as the fucking, the, the reporting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Honda Accord. Honda Accord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 1994 Honda Accord. 1994. Court. And it had something 69420. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, legitimate sources. All right. Next. Let's get out of here. You got one more? Oh, do I? Yeah, I think you got one more. Let's find one more. Let's see. Get El Pacino out of there. We've managed to get less offensive. I, if there was a way for us to play this in reverse, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> we came out the gate hard. <laughs> Round them up. 
Eight bulls escape a Massachusetts rodeo and charge through a mall parking lot. Yeah. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds. So hold on, though. The, where are you having the rodeo? Probably in the mall parking lot. In the mall parking lot. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what like, it sounds like. Yeah, like we had the carnival come up here in the mall parking lot here. That'd be pretty cool, just traveling rodeos in parking lots. Kind of like it. Yeah. I kind of like it. Until the bulls escape <laughs> How many? Nine of them? Eight. Why do you have eight bulls? That's too many bulls. It should be one at a time. Yeah, it's too many bulls. Why do you need nine bulls? Eight they were, bulls. They were probably in the bull pen. <laughs> well, you, you probably need a fresh bull every time. Yeah, yeah you ride a different if bull. the eighth yeah. rider comes on and rides that same bull for the eighth time, that bull's going to be tired. You're going to be on there for 45 seconds. Well, yeah, especially when they're you know swapping the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah you wouldn't have nuts after Mm-mm. nine straight rides. <laughs> <laughs> Hit them again. Uh, how do you get how do you get the bulls back? What do you do? Are you get them in a parking lot, they're running. A red cape. <laughs> a 94 you Honda put, Accord. You just put up a red curtain with a cage behind it. <laughs> I wish that's how it worked. I wish so bad that's how it worked. You dumb bastards. <laughs> you dumb bastard. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really say how they got him. It just says that seven of the eight were corralled by late Sunday afternoon. Wait, what? <laughs> mm-hmm. So one was not. One mm-hmm. of them was still on the lamb. Oh, yeah. The festival rodeo at the Emerald Square Mall was shut down. Oh, imagine. The bulls, what were you going to do without the bulls? <laughs> <laughs> Rodeo's over, folks. Fresh out of bulls. <laughs> The show must go on, man. <laughs> go get Gary. Yeah, <laughs> saddle, don't you? <laughs> oh man. Oh god. And <laughs> Gary would have to be the guy that left the friggin' pin out of the gate. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flapping your bowls and people are. Running. Yeah. yeah. Now that's what you ask for a refund on. <laughs> I came here for bowls, damn it. Uh, I Just ho- change. Yeah, I hope they found the last bull. I hope that that bull was was located. I hope that all the bulls are safe. Bulls are an interesting one because there's a lot of animals that if they get out, just they're going down. They're taking them down, right? Mm-hmm. You let a tiger out. Yeah, if a bear mm-hmm. gets out, it's, Harambe gets out, yeah, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's over. See you later. Bulls do some damage, but the bulls ain't getting taken but down. But we allow it. We allow it. Yeah. We treat them more like a horse. I think that's weird. In some places, they intentionally let them out, and you have to run away. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some tomatoes at them. Do you, do you think it's just based off the teeth? Is that the thing? Like they're they're hooves and and they don't have they don't have claws. I don't think and they have teeth? much of a killer instinct. Yeah, I think they're. Well, I don't think they intentionally do damage on humans. Where a gorilla is going to rip your fucking face off true. on purpose. True. A tiger is going to bite true. your head off. True. A bear right. is going to eat you alive. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen some pretty angry bulls. All right. Well, let's get the fuck out of this place. Uh, thank you to the Boutros. Yes. Thank you to Gabriel Johnson. <laughs> Did you get rid of this? Uh, I'm probably getting rid of the whole <laughs> thing. Yeah, probably. Probably. Thank that you, was Dave. Me, that was me resetting because <laughs> I'm removing all of what just happened. Uh, we'll be coming back next week with a game and a guest. Uh, hoping, fingers crossed, Bill Satry will be back with us. we got to see if we can get our schedules to align for that. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I got a couple other guests that we're looking at. Uh, so we'll have a game next week, and then uh, we got a couple things we want to s- squeeze in, a couple new ideas, and then we'll be back to 2005. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself ready for 2005. Start sending that stuff over let's to us. Let's get it now. started. Let's get it started. <laughs> uh, let's uh, take a look, send that stuff over to us uh, TV, uh, music, uh, bombings. We were still bombing Iraq. Yeah, we were still doing that. But shoot that stuff over to us. And then, of course, the movies of 2005 as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then we're coming up on Christmas. So I think we'll maybe do a little bit of Christmas content this year. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay. Uh, try to find something fun that isn't just you know our favorite Christmas movies, which we could do. But uh, you know, let's try to find something fun for Christmas. So if you've got any ideas out there as well. And then I'm going to keep reminding you again and again and again. 
Name of the year, folks. Yes. We're coming up to the end of the year, end of the year, so we're about six months out on name of the year. Start sending that stuff over to us, and we'll get that geared away as well. Um, name of the year, man. I, we've got some good candidates, mm-hmm. but uh, we want to make it a, a big splash, and it only works when you participate as well. So, the Boutros and Gabriel Johnson, thank you both. Yeah. And thank up. you to the fans. And with that, we're done. Yeah, I don't know how that whole episode's going to come together at the end. It got it fell apart real quick. We went we went freaking ham and then it was just a f- slow descent of headlines. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got a Sega Saturn, by the way, though. Yeah, you, yeah. you saw the picture. I sent the picture. Um, I'm kind of excited for that. I'd never had a Saturn. I'd never even seen one. Okay. Like, well, that's a Japanese model. Yeah, uh, the one I got was oh, a, okay. I got the Japanese one because I think it looks better. Mm-hmm. And also, there's two versions of the controller, and the it's kind of like the uh, the Duke from the Xbox. The second controller is a better controller than the original. Um, but the Japanese one is just, it's gray. It's just looks better. I think personally, I think it's got a little bit better aesthetic, but then got the mod card that goes in it. You don't have to mod it literally buy a cartridge that you stick in that thing. Nice. And then, yeah, I've just been burning, literally burning right. CDs. Yeah. Like, I remember that was a thing with the Dreamcast. Yeah. Too. Yeah, because it ran off windows or something. Yeah. Like that. It runs off like a format that was like vivid or something like that. It was like a weird a weird non DVD format that you can just straight burn. Um, but yeah, this it, it's interesting because I think people forget that that whole time frame, like that, that's why the PlayStation got so popular, mm-hmm. is because it was it was less expensive, and then once you had it, you had all the games because it was super easy to mod. So, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's it's a fun little birthday present. Thirty years removed. Hell yeah, yeah. Now we can play some Street Fighter versus X Men. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nerd alert!